Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on parallelogram, angles in a triangle, angles on a straight line, and IGC, GCAC, higher tier geometry question. Uh, we've got this diagram here. Uh, it says um, the angle ADB is that 8 degrees, and the angle uh, BEC is 41 degrees, and the angle DAB is 120 degrees, and then it says calculate the size of angle X, or calculate the value of X there. And then it goes to say you must give reasons for your answer. Okay. Now, you can start off in, in one of two ways. You can, you can either look at the properties, properties of a parallelogram or the properties of the properties of parallel lines with a transversal. Now I'm going to look at use the properties of uh, a parallelogram. It's a bit longer, but you know I think it's easier to explain as well. Right. Now if the angle at A is 120 degrees, and we know that the opposite angles in a parallelogram are equal. So that means that this angle is also 130 degrees. The, we know that the, the sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360. And if A plus B add up to 240 degrees, it then means that the sum of B and B and D the sum of the angles at B and D will be 360 minus 240, and that will give us 120 degrees. So D, this angle here, and B add up to 120 degrees. And because these are opposite angles of a parallelogram, if you divide, if you divide 120 by 2, it gets 60. So this angle at B and the angle at D will be 360 degrees, so it will be 60 degrees each. So that's what it got there, and that's with 360 degrees each there. Okay, now we need to find the value, excuse me, I do apologize for that. The angle there, we need to find this angle here, and this angle there will be 60 minus 38, that will give us. 52 degrees. Now, for this angle at E, we know that the, the, the sum of the angles on a straight line is 180 degrees. And if this angle is 41 degrees, that means that the other angle will be 180 minus 41 degrees, and that should give us the value of 139 degrees. So that's 139 degrees there. Now, in this triangle here, we know the value of two angles. So to find the value of x, to find the value of or the size of the angle x, we then do uh, x plus 22 plus 139, and that's what gives us 180 degrees, because we know that the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So if we don't subtract 161 from 180 degrees, we get a value of 19 degrees. So 19 degrees. So x is equal to 19 degrees. Now I hope all that made some sense and please please subscribe. Thank you for watching and bye bye now.